Hello everybody, SSA here aka Supersuno Rashi giving you a, some kind of recap of the Pokemon Direct stream that happened two days ago. Now in that, in that Pokemon Direct stream we saw a lot of, you know, uh, images or footages of, you know, how Pokemon started and how it evolved, no pun intended, throughout the years. And watching that video actually made me, you know, Feel, I don't know. I don't know how you could describe that feeling, but it was as you, if you actually was on a time travel back in a day. I, I remember sitting on my on the couch at my grandma's home playing Pokemon Red, and yesterday at the uh, celebration of the 20th Pokemon anniversary, I bought Pokemon Blue because I had Pokemon Red and Pokemon Yellow, so I bought Pokemon Blue to make it complete. And I was on that same couch, or not the same couch, but on that same. Uh, place playing Pokemon Blue and I was in the Viridian Forest with the Bulbasaur and it immediately struck me that like 18 years ago at the same moment I was playing Pokemon Red with Bulbasaur on the Viridian Forest and I was like wow it actually been it has actually been happened that many years ago and now I'm feeling that same feeling I had when I was a little child so the teaser slash trailer uh, was a real like um, ride down memory lane. But of course, the most important part of the video was Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon confirmed. Now, not only that, but they got, give, gave a small hint throughout the teaser on what the new region slash game could be about. And I'm going to give you, you know, I'm going to go through those screenshots uh, very quickly tell what my personal opinions are and hopefully you will you know <laughs> I have no words so let's just go down to the first picture we have so in the first picture we see some cars now we see a, like a fire truck we see an ambulance some kind and we see like what could be a safari truck I don't know on the green truck which is the safari truck I'm guessing that it's going to be some kind of safari zone like thing like where you have like cars that will bring you to the zones in the safari zone it's just what immediately came up on me on the truck you can see a Wobbuffet a Furfru um, I think you can see a Machamp there but it's just a normal truck and this isn't the first time Pokemon had cars in the game but this is the, like the first time the cars have actually you know details on them like the yellow fire truck car with the Blastoise on it now the Blastoise with the car it, 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 you know it's it just screams fire through a car now I saw an, a theory video of I should look up the name. I saw a T-Brit video of Hybrid Hero where he, you know, theorized that the next region could be in Hawaii because of the yellow uh, fire truck car. And he gave a lot of more good, you know, points that it could be placed in Hawaii. So be sure to check out Hybrid Hero's theory about that. But that could really be the case here because. If you look at the pictures from the fire truck cars in Hawaii and look at this, you know, um, picture of the Pokemon car that could be in the game, it, it could always change because these are, you know, uh, like pre game uh, sketches. So who knows? And then we see, of course, the uh, ambulance, the Pokemon Center car, as people like to call it, like now. Um, it could be like that uh, in longer routes. Because in sometimes Pokemon games have so many long routes that it took a real amount of effort to go from one city to the next city. So maybe these cars are like between the routes and you can heal up your Pokemon there. Uh, just like where NPCs will, oh uh, you look tired, here let me heal your Pokemon. I mean that could be the case. Um, not much to say about these pictures just yet, but I'm thinking that the first car could be like you know the green one is like the safari song kind of stuff 
the yellow is of course a fire truck car and the ambulance is of course a pokemon center car and how they will implement this into the game with storyline or whatsoever we should you know wait for more information about that then if we're going to the next picture we actually see a pokemon center design now this pokemon center design is absolutely amazing um of course the uh picture above is like the real pokemon center and i think the pictures down below are like uh, how the Pokemon Center is being made, base by base. So first they have, you know, the round design of the Pokemon Center. Then they, you know, uh, the entrance and then the whole complete thing. So if you look at the picture on the left, you can see like a little bit of detail, which could be the inside of the Pokemon Center. You could see like a um, desk or a reception desk, which could be the Pokemon Mart, they could, you know, make it like the Pokemon Mart is inside the Pokemon Center again, which was the best, you know, thing they did, because Pokemon Mart and Pokemon Center in one place, it's just so convenient, it's so, so it, it's so, yeah, it, it makes it really, you know, easy to be in the same place, and of course, you know, you have a lot more stuff to build around the city, in that some sort of <laughs> sometimes I, my English is so bad I'm so sorry <laughs> but yeah this this Pokemon Center looks really dope um, many people think it's small but I mean once the games comes out it could you know be a lot bigger these are all you know pre-game sketches that they could change once the game will come out so then we're going to the next picture where you can see a staff member of Pokemon um, pointing down at some uh, pictures which is obviously also the inside of the Pokemon Center because you could see like uh, uh, the same kind of uh, design which we saw in the last picture and uh, you could see the Pokemon in the inside the Pokemon Center and you could also see another reception desk so I'm thinking that one of the reception decks is of course the Pokemon Center itself. One of them is the Pokemon Mart, that's the blue one. <clears throat> and I think the other uh, reception desk could be like that they bring customized character designs back. You know, that you could customize your own character. Which they did perfectly in Pokemon X and Y and I don't think they're going to, you know, delete that in the next game. Because a lot of people liked custom character customization so I think they could make it a bigger and they could you know implement more on that matter so maybe they will you know have a actual you know uh, market just for Pokemon customization for clothing and that they will bring that into the Pokemon Center as well so the Pokemon Center will be like one big mart my throat is <coughs> really <coughs> fading away right now my apologize for that but they can do it like the Pokemon Center is one big mall where you can you know uh, heal your Pokemon buy some items and buy some clothes so yeah I think the Pokemon Center will be you know, a, a big bit bigger maybe um, not bigger in terms of you know um, the actual Pokemon centers in the previous game where you could you know go one uh, one ladder up and one ladder down or one place one center one market one character customization so that's pretty uh, neat to be honest I'm really excited for that if they do implant that into the games then we're going to something a lot of people are discussing about the new possible fly Pokemon now if you could see here you could see uh, I think it's like the bird Pokemon facing upwards with its wing uh, stretching out a lot of people were suspecting that this could be you know a fletchling I don't think that is the case because it doesn't look like a fletchling at all look at the wings look at his beak this is an entire new bird Pokemon probably the new you know first bird Pokemon like Pidgey, Starly, Taillow whatever you call it and if you have to make an, again hybrid hero the uh, made it clear that this could be like the Hawaiian hu hummingbird Pokemon which if you look at the pictures it could it actually makes sense 
you could also see that in the next picture of the Pokemon where you could actually see a bit of its color design. You could see his 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 um, his legs right there, his feet. Uh, you could see his um, alfalfa kind of hairstyle. I'm already excited for this Pokemon because lately the last bird Pokemon didn't do it for me. Like Fletchling was okay, Pido was bad, Pido was really bad, Starly wasn't bad or good either. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I not into bird Pokemon at all to be honest. But I mean, Pidgey in the beginning was you neat. Know, uh, Taylor was good. Um, a lot of people hate on Hootoot and Noctal, but I actually like the designs of Noct Noctal, uh, Hootoot and Noctal. To be honest, if I have to make you know my favorite bird Pokemon of all the regions, uh, Hootoot and Noctal of would probably be a l high on that list. Uh, not in terms of you know stats-wise, but in terms of design-wise, and I think this possible you know hummingbird pokemon could become one of my favorite bird pokemon to be honest in terms of design i really like you know the color the blue re uh, the red white black kind of color design it really you know fits my eye to be honest so um in terms of typing i think you know the first stage of course will be like normal flying or just flying and maybe you know it's evolve stage it really gives a dark flying kind of feeling but you never know with pokemon they could make it like a surprise thing maybe it's psychic flying like natu and xatu i mean they could you know colors and design doesn't really necessarily mean that they're going to be that kind of typing you know that they they could go anywhere with this one and i'm hoping that that's the best thing Every time a new generation comes out, the speculation and leaks of new Pokemon, uh, evolutions of older Pokemon that we know, it's going to be so much fun. And of course, I will be trying to make updates videos when that time comes, especially if they make <coughs> a Sand Slash and uh, Sand Slash Mega Evolution or Sand Slash Evolution, we don't know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this I'm already hyped for this Pokemon and I can't wait until we know more about this little birdie and then we have of course the design of what you may call a pokemon hotel a pokemon aquarium a pokemon gym a lot of speculation has been going on from this picture uh, first off we have a uh, whole picture where we can see you know a little bit more sketches we could see uh, in the background we could see like the interior of a house we could see uh, I think that's the fire truck car at a building um, we could see how they make an interior I think in the right bottom picture below in the left bottom picture we can make it out look like you know a black building of some kind maybe a hideout maybe an important maybe it's the professor's lab we don't know but if we look at the right we of course see the mansion like building with the horsey fountain in front we could see you know the entrance we could see that it's in like in a tropical region you really get that tropical uh like 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 hybrid hero said like hawaiian feeling out of this picture uh a lot of speculation where that, that this uh, region also takes place in singapore or malaysia which I can see happen to be honest uh, because both of these regions also have some tropical feeling but if you look at the details Hawaii looks like the place to be to be honest but yeah nothing much to say uh, many are speculating that the two persons in front of the big building are red and yellow and I don't know how they could implement those characters in the game. I don't think these are the main characters or the um, you know the playable characters because I don't think they will make the playable characters look like uh, old heroes from the past. Uh, but they could you know implement old heroes, old playable characters, you know be bringing them back in the newer games like. Like, you know, it's 20 years of Pokemon, uh, you all grew up with Red, with Gold, with Brandon from Red, Ruby and Sapphire, and name all of those characters up, and they could, you know, 
make a way to implement those characters into the game. I mean, who knows? Maybe Red has come back, or maybe Red after what happened in Gold and Silver uh, flew to the new region. Oh, you know, everything can happen. Pokemon has done uh, some, you know, stuff that threw off, off guard. So anything could happen. Um, I don't know really what this building could be. It could be like an aquarium, it could be like a museum, it could be like a combination of both. It could be like a gym in combination with an aquarium, it could be like a hotel in combination with an aquarium, or a hotel uh, alone. Uh, or a resort, it could be like a resort. Maybe this is like uh, part of the big city, maybe this is like... Maybe this is like the Pokemon lab, maybe you start in this building. Maybe you're an orphan and you'll start off in an orphanage. No, 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 don't let make it too dark. I mean, we lost our father and uh, we, we never knew our father. So what if we never knew our mother either? I mean, no, who knows? Who knows? <laughs> uh, but I can do a lot with this. Uh, you, of course, see the horsey flag. You see all of the water Pokemon. So uh, based on first looks, this is either an aquarium or like a water gym. Either one of that. Um, it's not, you know, game footage, it's like a sketch, it's like a design and artwork. So we never knew, they could change a lot of these things as I said. But, yeah. I don't know, everything... Th 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 this, this image is the one that, you know, a lot of people drives crazy the most because this image gives a little bit of a look how the region may look like. And... Being set maybe in a tropical setting, uh, maybe in a water-like environment like Ruby and Sapphire and Emerald, Hoenn. Many people are excited for that and I could see it happen, I could see it happen. But yeah, that's are all the uh, screenshots they are. Um, I'm very excited for Pokemon Sun and Moon. Of course there aren't many uh, information leaked yet, we have to wait. And as I said earlier, that is the most fun thing about every time a new generation, a new game is, you know, getting to come out. All of that news and updates that we are going to get in the upcoming months, uh, that will make us even more hyped for the game that we are right now. That could be a lot of fun and a lot of, you know, interesting to see what they will bring. Uh, because many are also speculating that this could be like the gold, silver, crystal games that once you finish the one region, we're going to get back to Kalos as well. Because there are a lot of things that hasn't been cleared up yet, like the Psygarde forms, the Vulcanion, the uh, Magierna that came out. Will Magierna be like a, a legendary Pokemon in this region or will it be like a Zoroark where, where it isn't even a legendary? Will it be a mythical Pokemon? We don't know that yet. So... I think that's, you know, covered it all up for the trailer slash teaser of Pokemon Sun and Moon. So I think it's best to say that we're going to end this episode right here. Uh, of course, every time there will be a new update, I will try to make videos of that. Uh, if it's small update, I will try to wait till we got more information to make it in, a wolf, in one whole video. But if you enjoyed this, leave a like, comment, share this video with others. Uh, you could help support this channel by slashing the subscribe button down below. It will, I will really appreciate if you do that. Uh, because it, you know, motivates me as well to, you know, keep going with these videos. Because speculating about the new Pokemon games is really fun to do. But with that, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much to uh, listen to me uh, throughout the entire video. And with that, I think I'm going to say bye-bye for now. See you next video and have a nice day.